As a follow-up to the first impressions video that I just made on the M1 Mac Mini that I just got, what I'll be able to show you today is the plugins that I have working in Ableton 10 Suite. So I'm just gonna run down a list of all of them and just show you each of them working. So the first thing is East-West Symphonic Orchestra using their Play Engine. It works. Next, we have the Infected Mushroom Wider plugin. This plugin also does, in fact, work. Next, we have some Isotope stuff. I have more Isotope stuff than this, but this is just what I've actually used and tested so far. So Ozone 9. Neutron 3 Elements. and Vocal Synth 2. And here's Brosnan, Josh Hutchison. Next, we have some contact libraries that I own. Get Good Drums, Modern and Massive, is in fact working on the M1 Mac Mini. Two pianos that I love from Native Instruments, The Gentleman, and Noir. And Spitfire's Albion One. I haven't tested the Spitfire Lab stuff just yet, just because whenever I move from one PC to another, like a Mac to PC, yada, yada, it's like all my lab stuff is broken and I have to like reorganize all the libraries. So that'll be in a future video. Next, we have the ML Sound Lab Stevie T plugin, and it is working. Two plugins that I like from Native Instruments, Realm, and Supercharger are both working. Two plugins that I totally love from Neural DSP, Archetype Pliny, and their bass plugin, Parallax, are both working. Now, I will say, um, at least with Pliny, I don't know about Parallax yet, but Pliny, I do get some glitching. I don't remember exactly what it was, but some kind of really loud noise just started leveling out the limiter and it was unbearable and I just had to close out Ableton completely to get rid of it. I couldn't do anything else to stop it. The other glitch that I'm getting with Pliny right now is the gate sometimes. if you, I usually have a gate because my guitar pickups suck. <laughs> Sometimes on the gate, if I go to zero and then back up on the gate, instead of it just cutting out the noise, it'll just cut out the signal completely and I'll have to restart the plugin to make it so it works properly again. The holy grail of all plugins, Sausage Fattener does work. This one is particularly impressive to me because Sausage Fattener is written in universal binary, so now it officially spans like three completely different architectures of processor, which is like unbelievably impressive for me. It will be supported on a power PC, so literally if you get a Power Mac G5, Sausage Fattener will run on it. Sausage Fattener has been running on all of the Intel Macs that we've used, and now it works on Apple Silicon. That's crazy, I'm telling you, holy grail bulletproof plugin. Serum, everybody's favorite soft synth, is working on Apple M1. Slate Digital's free kind of brightening clarity plugin, Fresh Air, is working on M1. Two plugins I have from Sound Toys, Little Alter Boy and Little Plate, both are working on Apple M1. Vital Wavetable Synthesizer is also working just fine on Apple M1. Voxengo Span, a little visualizer plugin that I really like using, is working just fine on Apple M1. 
I have some stuff from Waves that is working just fine. So I own the Vocal Bundle version 9 and the HComp version 10. I got some warning messages when I was installing these on this machine. So I will say those aren't officially supported. Waves seems to be a little bit particular according to some people, so that's why I mentioned that. My guess is that if you had a newer version, it should work just fine too. And then last but not least for this video, Ulean Loudness Meter 2 is working on M1. A plugin that I do not own, but I'm demoing right now because I've just heard that it's like snake oil is Golfos. I hope that's how it's pronounced, but I did test it out on some tracks on the master. It's really, really awesome. It's kind of does everything that I sort of thought ozone might do and maybe stuff that I thought existed when I was a kid, but didn't really totally yet. It's so good. If you can get your mix like 90 to 95% of the way there, Golfos is going to take it like that extra like five to 7%. Oh, but it feels like a cheat code. Anyway, it works. That's it for this quick little look at the plugins that we have working. If there's any that you want me to test, I can't buy plugins in bulk unless you wanna buy some for me, but I can try and download some demos for different things over time and just see what's working and what's not. Like I said, I just downloaded Golfos just to demo it anyway, and that one's working very well. Depending on your DAW, your mileage may vary. I have heard there's some DAWs that are taking a bit of a longer time to update than others. I hope if you're on the fence about joining the M1 gang, that this video at least gave you some more stuff that you can think about. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like as I find that very helpful. And if you have any advice or suggestions for other things you want me to test out with the M1 or Ableton, or other plugins, feel free to let me know. I've been Matt. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. Totally random, but the bugs this spring, there's huge, huge, like, I don't know if they're horse flies or like giant bees, but they keep hanging out at my patio. So I see this beautiful tree. Then I see these two Godzilla bugs just hanging out outside. Not a fan.